once again here right on the border of Arches National Park on the northeast edge. If you look over my shoulder, you can vaguely make out those signs. That is where the park boundary is proper. And we came in here on this road, which was actually fairly nice, just a little bit of washboard, and that is gonna be Salt Valley Road. And today we'll be heading into the park and finishing an adventure that I had tried to get done before, did have some cool explorations of Tower Arch, as well as Parallel Arch, I believe is the other one, and Klondike Ridge. On that trip though, it was really wet and muddy and I couldn't make it up this Salt Valley Road. Had to go all the way around into the park, ran out of time trying to see everything. So we're gonna finish it off today because I am really looking forward to a lot of other attractions, namely Klondike Ridge, as well as the Marching Men, which is a beautiful tower studded ridge. Do as much as we can, put it all together, show you some other beautiful unknown areas in Arches. All right, as you can see on the map, I have kind of taken a little side shoot along the edge of the park, and the climb up onto this ridge was extremely rough. I think modified equipment or motorcycle only. Really loose, gnarly. I'll try to get some footage on the way down, but uh, I, I didn't want to do anything but survive on the way up. So that's my story, and Klondike Ridge is somewhere straight behind me. So we're gonna go check that out. It should be some beautiful views. Well, you can see right behind me there. That giant boulder blocks the road and you can only go a little bit further anyway. So I just elected to leave the motorcycle. Although I, I could have got around it, but I'm just gonna cruise on up here. Should only be about another quarter mile and we should get some epic vistas off of the Klondike Bluff Overlook. Well, here's the true end of the road. No more bikes even allowed, but kind of cool. I got a little bike rack right here and then just weave yourself through here. Holy shit. Really cool. I am just seeing this little side passageway that hopefully can lead us back over there and up onto this. Pretty nice. The further out we get, the more of these little kind of bubbles we have to cross between. Just like this one right now. Looks like we've arrived at a large separation between the bubbles at this point. I don't know about that. It looks cool to get it this way though. But yeah, that's a little much. But maybe right over here. Maybe. Alright, we want to check it out. Oh. That's pretty incredible. Let's see what we got. All right, I just jumped off this little ledge right there and crossed. So, wow, pretty crazy. And uh, now we're, we're out on the bubbles for sure. Ooh. So that's looking back into the Salt Valley and then crazy towers out here. I think that one is Tower Arch, the, the big round ball one. So we'll see how much more we can get. 
And then there's the marching men there. Okay, I think that is gonna do it for our Klondike Bluff adventure. And it, it is beautiful. This is an awesome place. And there's lots more to come. We're definitely heading on over there to the marching men. And Great place, lots to see. But having a definitely at least high clearance vehicle for tower arch and such is, is key. For here, you need a miracle or a motorcycle if you're gonna get up these roads. We'll see you back to the bike. And that's where we just were. We topped out right in front of that big wall. And then behind there is Tower Arch. And... All right, that's the two wheel drive access hiking trail. We're gonna go to the four wheel drive. And that's gonna be right here. Go. All right, definitely on the right track now. Right, another really cool spot here. I just pulled off on the side. You can see where I am on the map, but the uh, the Marching Men Ridge should be right there. But before we even do that, we're gonna go ahead and head down the road this way, only about 40, 50 yards, and then pull off, because apparently this is where Anniversary Arch is. It's gonna be our way up onto the Marching Man Plateau. Pretty fun. And then back to the left is Tower, the Tower Arch. So here we are, good spot to pull off, get in this wash, and head on up to the Marching Man Plateau. And that is dead ahead. So we'll be going through right in this area here. Check this out. So interesting. These aren't waterproof though. There's still hope. I think I'm okay. Wow, not exactly good news. Uh, I don't think I can get up. It's just so tight right at the end. Crazy talk. Backtrack. Here we go. Barely backtracked at all. I, uh, I just left the wash straight behind me there. And uh, I don't know, 100 yards back. And I can see now this is exactly where I want to go. I'm just in a little higher wash. And that white rock is my happy sidewalk to adventure. So here we go. Official. We are on the Marching Man Plateau, and there's a Marching Man right there. 
Pretty tall guy, for sure. We're gonna cruise that way. The official Tower Arch Trail is dead ahead and works just to the right of this wall here, right in there. And then if you look to the right there, you can see the big tower. And that is the tower of Tower Arch. Beautiful spot. We'll pop back out. And now we're looking at Klondike Ridge. And the left side that you can barely see is where we were this morning. Now we are in the midst of all the marching men. And they are all around us. Neat spot to be. Pretty easy to get to too. So if you look really close, you can see hikers on the Tower Arch Trail. And then boom. Let's see if we can pop through here. Right there. So there's the tower above Tower Arch. And man, what a beautiful wall. And that's what makes up the Klondike Bluffs. And then way off to the right out of frame is the parking area. We have pulled it off. It was pretty fun and easy, especially riding the motorcycle. That is pretty big ass arch, no doubt. Wowzers. So, let's cruise on up here. See what kind of views we can get if we do a little scrambling. I bet pretty good. Wow, and there's the tower. Definitely a beautiful arch. Nicer than I expected, to be honest. 
So if you are wanting to get up here and you're kind of dreading this last move, which was exposed, so um, you don't even have to do it. You can just take this way and go around this big old cool tower right behind me. And this is what it looks like right behind that little tower. And if you just do a U-turn, you'll come right back on the other side and you'll be up here right in the mouth of the arch, just like this. So voila. All right, well, I decided to cruise on behind the fin, kind of behind the formation that that arch was in. And I am going to track down parallel arch, but first I just wanted to get out to this viewpoint and oh boy, it has got to be pretty obvious why. Check that out. Just as a little sideshow, we've also got parallel arch, and looks like that inner arch is barely an arch, but still kind of neat. And then this is the way toward tower arch that way. So I think it's about time to wrap it up, and I had some stuff on my mind. I did meet another super desert veteran up there who was telling me, again, probably shouldn't be running the video or inviting people out there. And I have mixed feelings about it, for sure. I'm not sure if everyone deserves to know. Should everyone just get to see? Um, I'd love to hear your comments on that, but I may start doing a little more on the beaten path trips just to avoid exposing super unique places. Although a lot of them I don't recommend going to. This one was manageable, but many of them aren't. And in those cases, I really don't mind showing you because I'm gonna recommend you not go. And if you can survive it, then uh, it probably means we're gonna go anyway. So that's my story. Beautiful place here in the Tower Arch area. And I do recommend coming here and probably just sticking to the Tower Arch Trail and enjoying all the views from there. You are gonna really enjoy it. Beautiful place. So thanks for coming along and let me know what you think about desert solitude or you know letting it turn into what happened with the Rocky Mountains. And they are full. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the adventure and the beautiful sights here in Arches. We will catch you on the next one. One more look behind at the LaSalle's. Wow, amazing place.